The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to be fasting, except your Father who is hidden. And, the, and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Those among us who have observed many Lents in our lives would readily understand that this is a season for giving up. Today is a day of fasting for 18 years old to 59 years old Catholics. There is an obligation to fast. For 14 years old and above, there is a duty for abstinence, <clears throat> which means not eating meat. <clears throat> what will you give up for Lent is a favorite question. Food, dessert, fats, what will you give up for Lent? But Lent is not just about giving up something. What is more important than giving up? What is more important than sacrificing? I will answer it by way of a parable. A young student of prayer went to a guru of prayer and said, Master, I think I am growing in holiness. And he said, I can eat only once a day. I can sleep only for a few hours and I do not complain. And I beat myself for the forgiveness of my sins. My body is bruised because of sins, but my body is also bruised because of my penance. I do not complain. And sometimes, sometimes, even if people criticize me, I do not respond. And when I do something good for other people, they do not even say thank you. The master said to the student, Look outside the window. Can you see that horse? That horse is given grass by the cochero once a day. Hindi nga siya pinapainom. At sa pagod ng kabayo, natutulog pa yan ang nakatayo. At, Pagkatapos niyang patakbuhin yung kalesa, hindi siyang binabayaran yung kutsero. At kapag hindi siya tumakbo ng ayos, nilalatigo pa. 
nilalatigo, hindi pinapakain, natutulog ng nakatayo, hindi pinapasalamatan. Anong tawag mo dyan? Santo o kabayo? Kabayo. Ibig sabihin, yung kabayo hindi kumakain katulad ng nagfa-fasting. Yung kabayo hindi pinapasalamatan katulad ng katoliko. Yung kabayo natutulog ng nakatayo, yung katoliko natutulog sa matigas na kama. Pero ano ang kaibahan? Paano tayo nagiging banal? We do not become holy by giving up. We do not become holy by doing something for the Lord. We do not become holy by doing these things. What makes us holy? Gratitude. Gratitude. Hindi kayang magpasalamat ng kabayo doon sa kutsero. Pero yung tao, pwede magpasalamat sa kapwa-tao at sa kanyang nilikha. Gratitude is what makes people saints. And ingratitude is what makes people devils. Ngayong Ash Wednesday, lalagyan tayo ng abo sa ulo. Kasi sasabihin, galing tayo sa abo, babalik tayo sa abo. Kung abo ang titingnan natin, ay talagang dapat na nga tayo magpakabait. Pero, huwag natin kakalimutan na yung pinagsimula nating abo at yung katapusan nating abo, sa pagitan noon, ang daming blessings. After we were ashes, God gave us flesh. Are you thankful to God for your body? Do you thank God for your birth? Do you thank God for your food? Do you thank God for the free air? Do you thank God for your friends? Do you thank God for the Catholic faith? Do you thank God for your education? Do you thank God for your marriage, for your family? Do you thank God for your community? Do you thank God that you receive Him in Holy Communion? These blessings are not given to ashes. These blessings are not given to cremated remains. These blessings are given to us in flesh and blood. Ang ibig kong sabihin, mga minamahal kong kapatid, ngayong kwaresma, dagdagan natin ang kota ng thank you. Nagkakaproblema ang fasting kapag hindi tayo marunong magpasalamat sa katunayan, if you don't know an attitude of gratitude, you will complain that you're hungry. You will complain that you want food. You will complain that you want dessert. You will even make excuse that I am diabetic or I have blood pressure, I have ulcer. You are going to make excuses if you do not have a grateful attitude. This season of Lent, give up something, okay. But do not forget to say thank you. Because it is gratitude that makes us saints. It is not what we give up. It is saying thank you for everything that makes us holy. It is not what we do for God. Let it be clear. God does not need what we want to do for Him. Because Christianity is not about telling people what to do for God. Christianity is about telling people what God has done for humanity. And if we know how much what God has done for humanity, what can we say but thank you, Lord? This morning, when we receive our ashes on our heads, and we are reminded that we came from dust, and to dust we shall remain, we shall go, we shall return. Please remember, between the ashes of our origin and the ashes of our conclusion, we have many blessings in between. Do not forget those blessings because all those blessings came from the Lord. To God be the glory. Salamat sa Diyos.